So Evan, tell us more about this battle that seems to be between the executive and the leadership. Oh, the Green Party's in an internal meltdown. It's almost like a civil war inside there because you've got Annamie Paul, who was elected uh, nine months ago, who had was overseeing three members of parliament. Then one of those uh, members, uh, Janica Atwin, decided to cross the floor and join the Liberals after there was an internal debate that really centered around the crisis in Israel and what was going on in Gaza. Um, a senior advisor to Anami Paul had said some very critical things about some of the members, uh, like uh, Ms. Atwin, who had tweeted about it. And, and Anami Paul did not seem to handle that well. That led to the defection of one of her MPs. That's a third of her caucus. Um, and that seemed to sort of open up very publicly a series of internal battles that were going on. The governing executive body there uh, really try, is basically trying to oust her. Canadian press now reporting that they're withholding quarter of a million dollars, apparently, or they want to, from her next election campaign after already withholding that, which is kind of remarkable because Annamie Paul has actually raised more money for that party than uh, in previous quarters. She's running in Toronto Centre. And there will probably be an election, we predict, mid-August. The writ will drop some point, early to mid-August. This will be her third time running there. She placed fourth the first time, second uh, to Marcia Ian, who we know here, obviously, at CTV, a former journalist who is now the member of parliament uh, for that riding, a liberal. But she's trying again there. Now, it's a tough riding for her. That's long, been a long-held liberal riding. And now she doesn't have the, apparently she won't have the money to do it. She faces uh, another leadership confidence motion at the end of July. So, you know, weeks before what could be a federal election, the fact that the leader seems isolated, the executive seems to be ousting her. Greens are wondering what the heck's going on. They've lost a third of our party. The Green Party, which should be poised to have one of these breakthrough moments, she's the first both black and Jewish federal leader ever, instead is mired in an internal conflict that uh, is really leading to a total dissipation of their message. Every article we see about the Green Party is about the internal squabble of a leader that cannot seem to control a very tiny caucus and a governing body that seems to be overflexing its muscles and trying to undermine the leader. It's, we've never seen a meltdown like this so publicly, but it's going on. Yeah, and I gather that this vote, or one of them anyway, would be not be until the end of July, so that's only a couple of weeks before potentially a writ is dropped. If she makes it through you know, that vote, how difficult would it be for her campaign be without a quarter of a million dollars? Look, it could be a week or two before a federal election. This is literally the last thing. A leader needs. A leader's got to nominate candidates, got to create excitement, got to do a tour. She's got to win a seat. There are so many things on, on the urgent front burner and the triage for Annamie Paul, the leader there, but she can't do it because she's trying to fight for her own survival. I actually reached out to her this morning. She's not doing any interviews. We had a little exchange on email, and she's saying, I'm going to let other people speak for her, but uh, on this issue as she's trying to focus on getting candidates. But I don't know how you focus when your very leadership is being questioned, not by your opponents, that's how politics work, but from your own party members and the governing body. A remarkable crisis yeah. in the Green Party.